if your goal is to get into the field of cybersecurity, whether you are a student or a working professional that wants to transition into this field, I want you to know that I am here to help you every step of the way. You want to stick around till the end because I'll tell you the five things you need to succeed in this field. I receive a lot of questions about where can someone get free training in cybersecurity. And I get it. There are so many courses out there that some even can cost up to $10,000, which not a lot are in that position to afford that, especially if you're a student. Then what can you do? Well, most of the resources I'll provide you will be either free, pay what you can, or affordable. If you are a student or a professional that wants to transition into cybersecurity, I want you to know that I offer free mentorship on my site with no strings attached. On there, you will also see products that I've personally created in which you can download to help guide you along this journey. These products include resume and cover letter templates, bookmarks, a one-year roadmap on how to get started in cybersecurity, and a list of interview questions to help you in your next interview. Also, as a sneak peek, I am in the process of creating a SOC course where there will be over 20 hands-on labs and multiple projects that you can put onto your resume. You can join the waitlist if you choose to do so. My mission here is to help you get to where you want to be. Let's start with the free resources because everybody likes free. And yes, I will provide links down below. The first one is IC2, Certified in Cybersecurity. This is a self-paced course that will go over five domains in cybersecurity. So domain one is your security principles, two, business continuity, disaster recovery, and incident response concepts. Number three, access controls. Number four, network security. And number five, security operations. Now, completing this course should provide you with the basic understanding of what cybersecurity is. So do make sure you take a lot of notes while you go through it. The second one is also a self-paced course and that is from Cisco's Introduction to Cybersecurity and Cybersecurity Fundamentals. So two courses. For the Introduction to Cybersecurity, on their site, you'll learn the following skills. Learn what cybersecurity is and its potential impact to you. Understand the most common threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities. Gain insights for how businesses protect their operations from attacks. Find the latest job trends and why cybersecurity continues to grow. I wonder why. Whereas cybersecurity fundamentals, you will understand security controls for networks, servers, and applications. Learn valuable security principles and how to develop compliant policies. Implement proper procedures for data confidentiality and availability. The third one is an instructor-based course. So if you are looking for a self-paced course, I would think about the first two. But the third one is EDX Cybersecurity Fundamentals. With this course, you will learn the following. Network and System Administration Fundamentals, the holy grail of cybersecurity, which is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. You'll also learn basic cryptography concepts as well. Now I know what you're thinking. Will doing any of this get me a job? No, but it will help you get started in cybersecurity by learning the terminology and concepts. Next are the pay what you can courses. And we'll start with the first and last one. Everything that is offered by Black Hills Information Systems training platform, Anti-Siphon. Seriously, they offer eight courses that are pay what you can and covers a wide range of domains in cybersecurity. The thing to note here is that depending on what you pay, you might not have access to their cyber range, which is where you can practice your hands-on skills. But don't let that be a limiting factor for you. You can always enroll, take notes, and then look for resources such as malware traffic analysis if you want to apply networking theory that you just learned to practical hands-on experiences. The pay what you can are instructor-based, but you do have the option for on-demand 
However, there is a fee for that. Anti-Siphon is definitely a place to go to level up your skills to get started in cybersecurity. Third is affordable training, which is subscription-based training, beginning with Coursera. Those that want to get started in cybersecurity, I always point them to Google's cybersecurity program because it just works. And if they do not have experience in IT, then Google's IT support program will suffice. Coursera offers a ton of great self-paced material on their site. However, it is a subscription-based model, so do keep that in mind. They tend to offer special discounts or promotions throughout the year, so if you are interested in enrolling, I would look out for those promos. Another great thing is that they offer a free trial and you can cancel if you do not like the material, which I think is a win-win situation. Number two is Pluralsight. This is a great site that many organizations actually use to train their employees because it's pretty affordable. These are self-paced and similarly with Coursera, they offer a ton of material that not only covers cybersecurity, but everything IT related, which is a pretty good bonus if that is what you want. There is also an option for hands-on labs, but that is only accessible if you enroll with their premium model, which again, not too, too expensive compared to a lot of other providers out there. The third one is Cybrary. Cybrary offers a free model that is limited to what you can watch, but hey, it's a nice option to have. There are on the pricier side, but the content is more focused around cybersecurity. Now, does that mean the material would be better than say Coursera or Pluralsight? Not necessarily, but the content would be more targeted towards a certain domain. That makes sense. Cyberry offers learning paths. For example, if you want to focus more on, let's say fundamentals, Cyberry has a path for you. Or if you want to focus on the offensive side, Cyberry has a path for you. They offer virtual labs as well. And all of the learning material are self-paced, which is a great thing to have, especially for those that are super busy. There are so many other great courses and resources out there that I did not list. For example, if you want to get into the offensive side of security, TCM or INE is great. If you want to get into the defensive side, Cyber Defenders, Let's Defend, Blue Teams Level 1 is also great. If there is one thing I want you to get out of this video, it is this. It does not matter which course or platform you take because they're all good. What matters is that you need to have the following to be successful in this field of cybersecurity. IT fundamentals, networking fundamentals, cybersecurity fundamentals, your cybersecurity domain of interest, and hands-on labs. Look for courses either free or paid that will help you learn these skills and knowledge as that will help you get started in the field of cybersecurity. That is it for the video and I hope you found it informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.